I am getting ready to do something that I really enjoy. Take my dirt bike and go riding through the forest. It's a freedom that I enjoy. It's a freedom that I know I would not have if it were not for the United States military. I'm making this video on Memorial Day weekend. And I know all Americans show tribute to the United States military and we also we thank all of our allies across the world, such as United Kingdom. We thank your militaries also, because there's evil in the world. This flag did not come for free. In this video, you'll see a World War II veteran speak about fighting on Iwo Jima. I was asked to upload this video by my good friends at the Armed Forces History Museum. It's an amazing museum in the Tampa, Florida area. If you remember, I've done a video there where I flew to Tampa and I walked through the whole museum and we had our own private tour. It really got a lot of praise, that video. The link is below if you did not see it. It's amazing. It goes through all the major wars that this world has had. So, with no further ado, I am putting up their promotional video per their request. One man put this museum together. His name is John. He is in the video. John, we thank you for purchasing all the items in this museum, for educating the youngsters, the children that come to your museum. Just an amazing place. If you're in the Tampa, Florida area, please visit it. Please watch this video. I don't think one day a year is enough for us to show thank you to the military. I, I like to show my patriotism every day. I'm always flying a flag. We really appreciate you in the military. We thank you, whether you're retired or you're existingly fighting for us against evil. We thank you. Enjoy this video. The link to the museum is below to their website. The link to the video in which I actually went and had a private tour for all of us is below. And I'll even throw a couple more links where I interviewed a World War II vet one-on-one. -on -one. And I'll throw another link where I interviewed a Holocaust survivor. We cannot forget of what took place to get our freedom. Enjoy the video. out at that naval armada right next to the marine next to me i said this isn't going to be any fight they're going to blow that island into the ocean dust and smoke 200 feet in the air you would think that you know and uh, how wrong can a young 18 year old kid be the armed forces history museum is a non-profit charitable organization whose mission is to honorably preserve the history and memories of the military and its veterans I was a prisoner of war for 31 months, from, from January 1st, 1951 to August 11th, 1953. The museum is dedicated to educating future generations of the sacrifices made by so many to sustain our freedom. When you walk through here, the price of freedom is everywhere. And you will experience, you'll hear voices, you'll see things that, that, that are very, very special. And I think we as a nation need to preserve our history. I was there 365 days. I gotta imagine 350 of those days they fired mortars into the base camp. It has often been said that the cost of freedom is high. No one knows that more than the United States veterans who have fought to protect that freedom. They've endured unimaginable circumstances, buried their friends, and in some cases, suffered life-changing injuries. Where my hand is, that entire piece is an acrylic plate. My entire forehead's been replaced with an acrylic plate. And, uh, I lost both my eyes. If you ask a veteran, they'll tell you they were just doing their duty. As American citizens, 
It's our duty to remember and honor those who have served to protect this great nation and all it represents. Founded in 2008 by John J. Piazza Sr., the Armed Forces History Museum was created to provide visitors with a truly unique experience unlike any other. Over the course of about a month, I designed the entire museum. I would sit in a chair and I'd roll, roll myself around envisioning how I wanted people to view this museum when they came in. We built everything with my own staff, in-house, over and did the whole thing in a, in a year and a half. It was all put together. Whether walking through a French village, the Ho Chi Minh Trail, or riding on an actual World War II era M8, visitors are completely immersed in the sights, scents, and sounds of history, creating a portal to the past. People are blown away. From the moment they walk in our doors, they know the quality, uh, they know how exceptional all the dioramas are. Uh, this museum is, is truly a, a jewel. The exhibit uh, for World War I was very impressive. You get everything from the sound of the, the period, uh, the sound of machine gun fire or aircraft flying overhead, which really gives you a sense of realism that you're really there and helps, helps you to get into that, that period and, and understand better what you're looking at. You know, a lot of the history that's here is, is equivalent to what you'll see in, in the Smithsonian and other museums, and that it's right here in Largo, Florida, right in our community, uh, is, is wonderful. This critically acclaimed and multi-award winning museum has been referred to as where the Smithsonian meets Disney World by ABC Action News. It is filled with honor, respect, and tributes to those brave men and women who are so deserving and fought so valiantly. We had about 3,000 prisoners in the camp and uh, we buried over 1,600 just the first winter alone from uh, starvation and uh, no medical treatment. They had us in the beginning. They got the best of us. When, when, that, when them 6,800 young Marines were killed, it was in the beginning before our artillery could get set up. I was in the machine gun turret of a Humvee and uh, it got hit by two 155 millimeter artillery shells that were buried in the roadside. There was just a, a period of time when people didn't want to talk about the war. It hurt everybody. That's historical. That, that's a, a situation we were in that I don't know that we were ever in before. And I hope we never get into it again. Our nation's military history is filled with honor and sacrifice. We must never forget those who have fought for our country. The Armed Forces History Museum stands as a pinnacle to ensure their memories live on. I think one of the reasons it's important that people support this museum is because of the education factor. We should not forget what has had to happen to make this country as great as it is. I think that uh, we as a people have uh, uh, a duty to uh, keep their memories alive and, and know that the sacrifices that were made were made to protect this wonderful nation and uh, for future generations. I've learned that war isn't pretty. You can't appreciate or understand your country if you don't know uh, where it came from, how it came about, and who helped build it. It's important that people remember the past, and what's the expression, otherwise you're, you're destined to repeat it.